this is Dr. Shintani for your health. A lot of people think yogurt is a health food. This is especially true because lately there's been a lot of press about probiotics and people think yogurt helps with constipation. And of course there are people who still believe the propaganda about dairy and the prevention of osteoporosis as well, despite the fact that decades of research shows that dairy does not prevent osteoporosis. But there's a different reason why I don't recommend yogurt. This is something that most people, even health professionals, may not be aware of. What I don't like about yogurt is its very high insulinemic effect. In other words, yogurt causes a high insulin response. This is important because high insulin levels are associated with metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome includes high blood sugar, high blood pressure, high triglycerides, and obesity. In addition, insulin is known to promote cancer growth. And if you have cancer, or if you are at risk for cancer, I don't recommend yogurt. The reason is in the numbers. The insulinemic index, like the glycemic index, indicates how high blood levels rise in response to the food indicated. The higher the number, the worse the effect on insulin. The insulin response to oatmeal is rated at a 40. The insulin response to white flour pasta is rated at 40 as well. The insulin response to white rice is 79. But the insulin response to yogurt is 115, much higher than oatmeal, pasta, or even white rice. Because of these factors, I don't recommend yogurt for daily use. I put it in the category of party food, food that you eat for enjoyment once in a while, but not for health. And if you want probiotics, look for my video on probiotics on this channel. For more tips on health and vibrant longevity, subscribe to this channel below. This is Dr. Shintani for your health.